Are you a f***er? What are you? You like it up your ass? No. Cause you won't like you like it up your ass. What do you mean? Yeah. There ain't nothing so that sitting beside you do a s*** about it. Are you okay? You're not okay. Cause if you sit there and this boy walk in here with no f***ing buddy, you're not a good goddamn kid. We didn't even come in here with him. Well then goddamn back the f*** up, Are you gonna go drive your car right now? You want to talk? Do you want to do something? About I don't know. Maybe we should get the car. Let's do it. Let's, get Let's him. do it. Let's get him. Let's, Let's do it. Go? Get it. Get it. Let's shoot shit, well, honestly. It's going to go hurt somebody if you drive your car. Come on. Let's do it. You should do it. Let's do it. I'll do it for you. Whatever you do want. Do it. To go get. ahead. You should do it. What the f are you? Are you, are you even dressed? What? <laughs> <laughs> How much more could I wear to be dressed? I feel like you were in a trailer park. Like you grew up in a trailer park. I look like I was in a trailer park. <laughs> Oh, God. You would know, right? I know. We made sure no one was there. Yeah, we're pedestrians, okay? Yeah, we, we looked. We saw. There was no one there. We knew that guy. You were, I know. I don't care, but you, 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 we were there. The, light, the thing's going, and then you go when I'm crossing. Yeah. You can't do that. Yeah, but we already had a green light. You didn't have a green light. You had yeah. a red light because the we, thing was blue. We were, we went past, when we went through, there was a green light. Because there was the, traffic. When you're sitting on the crosswalk, you don't have a green light anymore, okay? Okay. You stop for pedestrians. All right. It's as simple as that. Okay. Just be, just be aware. All right, yeah. You got that? Yeah, I got that. Go, we had a green light though, bro. Yeah, I know, I know. Your business, do you work here? Cause you're a Karen. You're a Karen. You're I, I'm. You're one of those. It's my daughter and I walk here and there's no for oh, there's no respect for people. So you decide to just bother someone during their day and say, "Hey, don't park there." But you don't work here. You don't know if I'm getting food. I do work here. This is where you get delivery. But guess what? They haven't come out. So my wife was walking in to find out what was going on. How do you know when we called? I could have called when I was pulling in. Oh, okay, thank I appreciate it, Karen. I appreciate your, your advice. Oh, okay, thank you, Karen. I, oh, I'm sorry, what'd you call me? An Did you just call me an Oh, I'm sorry, I got this on film. So, uh, That's great. you'll be uh, viral on TikTok, just to let you know. Great. All right, thanks, Karen. Have a great day. We can understand that you cannot deal with us. It's obvious that you don't have the capacity. Okay? <laughs> okay. You don't have, can you can you call somebody? Um, I will not call my manager on her day off. That's what managers are for. Because you don't have management authority. Okay. But I have the have authority to stand authority. here and listen to what you're saying. So, like, I don't know what you want from me. I'm not going to give you a refund because you still stayed here, so... We're not staying here, we're telling you. We're not staying in the darn room. Only a dirty-ass person will stay in a nasty-ass bed that wasn't without toilet paper. I can give you toilet are paper, you, Are but... you really that low, Bri? Are you really that low that you will stay in a dirty room? I already explained what? that we don't do daily servicing because of COVID. If you can't accept that, that's too bad. I don't know what you want me to do because I can't do nothing about it. You don't even put toilet paper in the rooms? And, uh, I can give you toilet paper, but I but can't no, do it's anything not, it's, else. It's not my job for me to put, come and pick it up. It's your job, the hotel's job. No, okay? my job is to be front desk and listen to you complain at me. So I'm doing my job. Unbelievable. No, it's very okay. believable. No, it's not believable. It is a shame. I have never in my entire life in a comfort inn have ever gotten this type of, of uh, customer. Are we in your driveway? We are in the sidewalk. We are in the damn sidewalk. Go to school. I already am in school. We were on the sidewalk only. This is private property. Cross the line. Are you did a Karen? You have, did you Are you have, a Karen? Do you have a house here? I live here. That is the line. 
This is not. You can walk your dogs here. You can. Are you trying? Them. Are you are you trying to start problems for no reason? No, but you are playing games. This is games. No, there's no game. Okay. But you know what? You know what? Okay, get out. This get is, lost. Okay. Hey. I don't want to talk to you in the ball. Do not yell. You're on my property. It's not a property. I'm this just, is my property. I'm standing right there. This is my property. Okay. You step one inch. You stepped into private property. I'm standing right there. This is my property. Okay. You step one inch, you stepped into private property. You don't park your dogs on private property. Have I was respect. right there. You were not. I was right there. You were not. Your dogs, you had your dogs there. And uh, she I had her dogs pee and poop on my property. You guys are playing games in the neighborhood. That's what you do with your game. dogs. Okay. What are you doing? Okay, okay, what are you okay, ma'am. Okay, ma'am. I'm gonna, ma'am. Probably gonna do post this you somewhere. You want to play hard? Huh? Ma'am. Ma'am. You want to play hard? Huh? Would you play hard? Huh? Dad, dad. dad. Ma'am. Damn. Ma'am. Okay, for your respect, we will skip you. Okay, we're gonna pretend you don't exist. We're gonna pre pretend your house doesn't exist. This okay. This is. This is crap, okay? You need to understand where private pro property hey, lies. Don't listen, oh, you brought it on my right. Do on you my do you know dog. if it's my dog? Did you see it? Do you know it's my dog? I don't care whose dog. Do you it know you. it's my dog? It was you. No, it, it wasn't. wasn't. Yes, it was you. No. Hey, yes, you are the neighbors living right here, and you're the ones who walk. There are the so many dogs. There are so many dogs in this neighborhood. Oh, oh. There are so many dogs. Get Have lost. a nice Get day. Oh, Have lost. a great Make day. Oh yes. Have an amazing <laughs> day. Oh yes, I'm full of garbage. Thank you. Thank you. Dad, let's go. Dad, let's go. Why? But I will call the cops Why? because I cannot deal with this noise. Move the truck somewhere else. The neighbor, no, send the email. The neighbor sent the email. He's doing the work today. Yeah, he said that you'd be working. He didn't say that you'd be parking a piece of heavy machinery in front of my house. Where can I park? I don't give a shit. And it's not give a shit. Your dad, your dad said it's okay. Your dad said. No, I don't care what my dad said. Move! You just easy, said okay. Move! If you do not move, I will call the police. I got permission. Do you understand? I got permission from email. This is my house. I live here. How do you suggest I deal with hours of this noise? Yeah, but they send you email. They sent me an email saying that you'll be cutting things. Yeah, how? Not that cut. you'll be having a huge piece of machinery in front of my yeah, house. Yeah, but I'm going to cut it. How? Look, move it up to his place. Yeah, but it's blocking the point. I don't give to his place. Yeah, but it's blocking the point. I don't give a Move it! Hey, look, look, we can't move it. Look, can't move. I will call the cops. Call him, call, call him. him. Don't hey, worry. I've got email. I've got email. He sent me an email. I've got an email as well. He sent me an email that you'd be working. Yeah, Not that I have that, a piece of machinery would be in front of my house. That's, that's the job. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? How are we going to do the job without the machine? Look, why don't you move it somewhere else? Move there, it to the I, other side of the no, street. Can I block your foot, boy? So what's the difference? Park there and park here. Look, move it so the noise. I can't deal with the noise for hours. You're a I can't believe you have allowed them to park a heavy piece of machinery in front of my house. I have to work today. Okay? I have to work today. Go f yourself. Do you understand? If you do not stop, I will call the police. Call, call the police. Call the police. Boarding her flight with a questionably large carry-on and a purse the size of an actual carry-on, the Karen aggressively tries to jam her suitcase underneath the seat in front of her. After settling in, the Karen notices there's a cooing baby sitting behind her and begins to call for the flight attendant. 
Karen begins to explain to the flight attendant that there's a baby behind her and is wondering if there's any other seats that she might be able to move to. Upon being told that the flight is full, the Karen asks, can't she just switch seats with someone? And they explain to her that they cannot do that. The Karen then becomes emotional, explaining she has a very important meeting she's flying to and needs a nap. And if this baby cries and keeps her up, she might sue the airline. Later, while playing Candy Crush at full volume on her phone, a flight attendant stops by to let her know she'll need to place her luggage in the overhead compartment. The Karen protests, saying she has delicate things that could get crushed. With her bag now in the overhead compartment, she's just waiting for someone to touch or crush her bag. And when they do, she goes full Karen. <laughs> My life isn't at risk. Can ride it is, dude. There's plenty of ice here. It's not. Look, I stepped in there the other day. I went through. You, the it other open there till yesterday. The other day, yes. There's about uh, four inches of clear ice here. Three to three, about three and a half, four inches. I appreciate your concern. I really do. Yeah, and then I gotta risk my life to save yours. No, you don't. I got ice picks. I got ways to get out, man. Don't worry about me, I appreciate it. You do see that cross up on this thing there, right? People went out and being foolishly died. Right, foolishly, yes. Yeah, okay. God bless you. Thank you, sir. I gotta go in the house and turn my head because you're making me ill to my stomach. Well, <laughs> I'm sorry that you feel that way. Five and a half inches. Five inches. Hmm. What do you mean the manager isn't here? <sighs> Useless. <coughs> Excuse me. Hi, sir. I think you just coughed. I have a condition! Okay, you could still have corona. You fool! I am immune to your little human virus! Whatever. You're threatening my aura, and I would appreciate it. <laughs> You're gonna have to leave. Now. Make me kind scum!